I spent another day pulling more cedar trees. But I thought I'd start off with Black M Blondie out here at 11.20 uh, doing a security check for me. Can't call them lazy dogs, I mean they keep an eye on the place for me, let me know if somebody's coming up. Don't know what they're looking at, but Blackie sure looking hard. It is 3 o'clock and I'm taking the mule down to uh, start pulling up cedar trees again. I'm backing in behind uh, that one pile of stuff there is uh, tractor implements, box blade, and post hole auger. That white you see is uh, an old workbench that's got some uh, sunscreen rolled up on top of it. Got quite a few cedar trees around it too. There I am backed up to a cedar tree. Getting ready to tie a chain around it and yank it out of the ground. You can see that one's about six foot tall, or maybe you can see it. I'm six foot and that one's about the same height as I am. Here I am on the mineral blocks again. I pulled a few trees before this and threw them down in front of the camera there. They were just small ones and stuff I got there by the uh, tractor implements. Pulled that one and threw it in. Busy pulling the tree through here, getting it untied, and throwing it on the pile. And there's another tree on the pile, and another. And yet another tree. The noise you hear is uh, me putting the chain back in the uh, bed of the mule. There's another tree that I've just pulled up. Get the chain unwrapped. Another tree I pulled. I stop occasionally and shake all the cedar needles out of my gloves. You see the roots on that one are pretty good. But this time my arms were burning from those cedar needles. Even had a few places where they poked in and had me bleeding a little bit. So we'll get another one. That was a pretty good size when you can see it sticking up there over the cab of the uh, mule. Get him unchained and toss him on the pile. We got another one. Had some small ones that I pulled up by hand and some limbs that had broke off that I put in a uh, bed of the mule. That one unchanged and throw him on the pile. Then I decided it was time to try to get rid of them. Stretch the chain out, long chain. Started picking up 
the trees from the pile and piling them on top of that long chain. Once I get them all piled on there, wrap the chain around, pull it tight, and hold them all together so I can drag them off. Here I have, I've got them all chained together and the mule hooked up to them and getting ready to take them off out of the picture. There they go. I kind of alternated them so they uh, didn't look quite as many there. I decided to call it a day. So if you can see down there by the workbench, uh, a lot of those cedar trees are now gone. In fact, all of them right around the cedar, uh, the workbench. 643, back in Blondie out doing another security check. And at 5.30 this morning, this deer shows up. She's staying right in the edge of the spotlight. I think the, uh, that red, red glow, she wasn't too sure about it, so she's staying there close to the uh, brush and stuff where she can take off real quick. Apparently when 30 seconds or something, the camera shut off, she left. I never got another picture of her. Y'all have a good day.